Now we introduce a convolutional LSTM. In many applications, uh, we are interested in predicting uh, future frames from uh, their past video. Uh, as we know, uh, long short term memory, I and mean, uh, in short, LSTM network is a, a generative model or a sequence modeling, you know, which you can be used to predict the next words based on previous words. The basic structure here includes three uh, gates, and uh, we have, you know, this is the uh, input is usually the one hard vector. And uh, here is uh, the hidden state from a previous uh, time. Here is the memory. And also it's a, uh, it's a cell uh, uh, output, cell input, output. And then now uh, we have, you know, output uh, hidden state and uh, at the output at a time step T. <clears throat> Uh, in this case, because the input is one uh, hard vector, so we have uh, def to define the three uh, learnable uh, metrics. With this matrix, we work with uh, you know this uh, input, work with uh, uh, this uh, hidden state and the memory together. Uh, we get the, uh, the output at a different to predict uh, output at a different. Uh, Time step. Uh, for example, we have uh, you know uh, we have a sentence uh, Yellowstone National Park is beautiful. So first, uh, for example, we input Yellowstone, then uh, we predict the next uh, possible word is uh, national. Of course, we have a uh, uh, corpus. Corpus so for the corpus, we have uh, you know uh, for example, we have uh, several hundred, several thousand. We need to predict which world will be better fit for the next world. That's uh, uh, we use the uh, LSTM to predict. Uh, right now, because you know this uh, input is uh, uh, just a uh, 1D vector, we define the uh, learnable uh, matrix, 2D matrix. Uh, in uh, uh, most of the case, like we mentioned, uh, we need, you know, based on the previous video, or video, we need to predict the next frame. So we got a, a new video. So in that case, you know, the input will be a 2D sensor or 2D matrix. And also uh, to uh, extract the uh, information or feature map, we introduce the uh, convolution operation into the LSTM. To handle to handle the you know uh, video or frame input. In that case, for example, uh, the input is uh, you use uh, you know, x c is uh, a cell output h is a hidden state. So the convention uh, convolutional LSTM. I mean, we have uh, same uh, you know three gates as a uh, uh, regular LSTM. But uh, right now the gate is a uh, 3D uh, sensor. First one is a time and the next two is a uh, uh, sub spatial uh, distribution. We change the update formula. You know, you here was the uh, 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 head mode, but right now it's a convolution operation for the uh, input and the hidden state because this is uh, uh, right now, input is a, is a matrix, it's a 2D frame, a 2D image. Uh, H also is a uh, 2D image. So uh, right now, WXI and WHI is a, a convolutional kernel. We use the kernel to you know uh, uh, generate the or extract the uh, feature from the input and the hidden state. Uh, so like, uh, you know, in a regular LSTM, uh, the operation is uh, uh, a head mark, head mark right now changes to the convolution. 
uh, it seems here, for example, this uh, this uh, H we need uh, uh, because it's a two D. We use uh, uh, convolution kernel to work on this. Uh, you know, scan this input uh, image, and also we define the uh, uh, convolution kernel work on the input uh, image. That's a key difference from the regular LSTM. And here, for example, uh, this uh, uh, he, this is uh, the uh, in the regular LSTM. Here is the hidden stage. Here is the input both the two D frame or image. So right now in the regular uh, in regular LSTM, we define a learnable matrix because this is yeah in regular LSTM. This is uh, one. The uh, vector, or it's also one D vector. We just uh, you know uh, use this uh, uh, matrix uh, operate on this input one D vector, and uh, same in the same way work on the input the input vector. Then we put it together to the next. In the conventional areas TM, we need to predict the two D frame. 2D frame right now, the input also is a 2D distribution and the hidden state also is a 2D distribution. So we define a convolution kernel. This kernel, you know, to extract the uh, feature from the hidden stage or from the input uh, frame. That's uh, the key difference uh, from the uh, regular LSTM. For more details, please check with uh, these references. Thank you. Bye.